Uh, I'm Laura Douglas, president here at Bristol Community College, and I want to welcome you here today for this wonderful occasion. Uh, we have had uh, students transfer to Stonehill uh, for many, many years, and uh, today, though, we are celebrating a very special transfer agreement, an opportunity for our students to uh, transfer and to study at a very exclusive school, uh, not only where they can get an amazing education, but where they can also live on campus and they can uh, access a uh, very robust student life uh, experience through so many different activities. Uh, Stonehill is really just in our backyard, especially for those students who may study in Taunton and in Attleboro, but for those who are coming fall from Fall River, it's also just a stone, stone throw away. How do you like that? <laughs> so I'm uh, very happy uh, to be here today uh, with uh, President Denning, and I would love for him to say a few words, and then we'll uh, have a, a few more uh, uh, comments to make before we st start. I do want to uh, thank President Douglas for inviting us and especially for uh, helping us develop bridgeways and pathways for students from Bristol Community College to come to Stonehill. Uh, we really believe that uh, our work in southeastern Massachusetts is so critical, uh, certainly to uh, the development of this area, but especially for uh, our young people. So I can't wait to see more uh, students from Bristol Community College at Stonehill and look forward to this partnership for many years to come. So thank you so much, President Douglas. Thank you. I know we have uh, many guests here today, but I do want to uh, acknowledge Stephanie Dupre. Stephanie, where, there you are. Stephanie uh, it has done an amazing job um, building these the relationships that we have, and she has uh, very nicely penned this agreement for us uh, to make sure that uh, our students are, are ready. Uh, we're just very thankful here in Bristol County to have such a supportive community for both public and private uh, education and uh, for some of you maybe our guests from Stonehill today maybe uh, you are very well aware of the free community college program and it has done wonders for us here uh, in our communities at Bristol Community College we have four campuses uh, one in New Bedford Fall River Taunton and Attleboro uh, last year, with the start of Mass Reconnect, we saw a very large increase in our students, uh, uh, especially at our uh, non-Fall River locations of New Bedford, Taunton, and Attleboro. And uh, that was f uh, the program for 25 and older students uh, who have come back. Uh, they are part-time students. Many of them have families, jobs, uh, yet they have persisted over the last year. They're very diligent about their work. Uh, and now with Free Community College for students of all ages, uh, we have many students who have decided to come to Bristol to spend the first two years of their four-year degree. Uh, I think they're most thankful for the opportunity not to have to take out loans, which really serves uh, students very well as they think about their four-year experience or a transfer to uh, a four-year degree. Uh, we have uh, been in existence since 1965. Uh, we started with our campus in Fall River, not on this particular location, uh, but of course it has grown into a beautiful um, uh, campus, one that does give a very traditional experience. Our next campus that came online was in New Bedford, which is an urban campus in downtown New Bedford. Uh, it is uh, uh, in an old Cherry and Webb department building. Remember Cherry and Webb for those of us who were in the community? Maybe we stop, shop there for our back to school or a holiday wear. Uh, and uh, it has terrific views of the uh, New Bedford Harbor. Last year, we opened, oh, actually it's this year still, but about a year ago, we opened the National Offshore Wind Industry. It's been one of our most uh, uh, new acquisitions. Uh, it's a 40,000 square foot training facility, uh, which is necessary for anyone that is going out on a wind turbine or working in that industry. We're providing basic safety training, basic technical training, uh, blade repair, um, uh, sea survival, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, emergency helicopter evacuation tr uh, training. If you want to get into a simulator uh, and get <laughs> dropped into a pool of water and get 
fun upside down and then do a little release Houdini exercise. We've got uh, a place for you to do that. Uh, and then coming online after, after New Bedford, though, our, our, our traditional campus there was our Attleboro campus. We just celebrated 20 years in Attleboro, a wonderful uh, milestone in our history there. Uh, many of you know that Attleboro, until we started there, was a higher education de desert. Uh, and there was really no place around for students to study. So uh, that's been a wonderful pipeline into higher education. And last but not least is our Taunton campus. It's, uh, we were in the Galleria Mall, uh, and uh, we uh, moved to the Coyle Cassidy School uh, several years ago. So we have that connection. Uh, and um, uh, uh, we are located there on the upper floors uh, and uh, in partnership with Taunton high school with an early college uh, program. So uh, terrific pipelines for uh, not only for Bristol Community College, but for students uh, to go on uh, to Stonehill. So that tells you a little bit about uh, Bristol Community College. Um, so why don't I hand it over to Andrew Fisher? Sure. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, have very much enjoyed the last handful of months working with Peter as we've worked out the details of this transfer agreement and partnership, understanding better the programs that are offered at Stonehill and where there's collaborat collaborative opportunities for us here at Bristol and, and on through Stonehill. So very grateful for also the work that we're going to continue to do to make sure that the educational experiences that our students have locally can be expanded um, from the associate's degree into a baccalaureate degree to go straight into employment, to make sure that that pipeline line for students is seamless, that they lose as few credits as possible, preferably no loss of credits, um, and then that the employment that they find uh, at the conclusion of their degree completion, that they have satisfaction and they can give back to the community and stay local. So Peter, thank you very much for the time that we've had to spend together as we've developed this and very excited to be able to sign this. Uh, thank you, uh, Andrew, and thank you to President Douglas for uh, hosting us today. It's really wonderful to be back uh, on your campus. We had uh, some conversations and a visit uh, earlier this summer. Uh, this really is about access to a bachelor's degree for students. I'm really proud of our team at the college to have worked on an agreement that allows for a seamless transfer, but also critically uh, an affordable opportunity for students to seamlessly go uh, from high school to Bristol Community College uh, to Stonehill. In addition, uh, we have been moving rather aggressively into uh, graduate and professional studies. So this transfer agreement not only allows an opportunity for a student to come to the May School of Arts and Sciences or the Mean School of Business, but then also to move directly into uh, one of our new and innovative graduate programs. So uh, this represents a sea change in uh, the understanding at higher ed that really what we should be doing more of is providing uh, seamless integration with community partners like Bristol Community College. So we're really thrilled uh, to be here. Uh, we probably won't take you up on the helicopter opportunity, <laughs> but I, I, I suspect, you know, perhaps uh, we'll just leave that uh, hanging as, a, as it were and uh, uh, we can revisit that at another time. Well, you just call me if you change your mind. <laughs> So uh, next, I'd like to introduce to you the chair of our board, Ms. Joan Medeiros. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. Um, I'm very honored to be here this afternoon um, as the chair of the Board of Trustees to see this wonderful agreement being signed with Stonehill College. Um, I've been very familiar with Stonehill for many years over my career and have a soft place because one of my nieces is a student at Stonehill right now. So I think this is a huge win for our students here at Bristol Community College. And I know that the college will be sending very well prepared students to Stonehill in the future. And I know that they will do well and excel at Stonehill. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Chair Medeiros. So with that, I think we can get our pens ready. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you. 
right, that's yeah. your copy nice. then. So I think it's time for some photographs. Uh, Kevin, do you want us to do a mock signing? Sure. Uh, kind of <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and this is what we're doing. Smiles. How's that? <laughs> I'm going to have you both look up in one, three, two, one. One more. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. All right. We'll do a handshake. Yeah.